Hello and welcome to another video. You might have seen my video previously about Cesium and the Google Earth dataset for Unreal Engine. In this video, most of the feedback I got was from people not wanting to put their credit card details into Google and not wanting to set up a Google API. In the newest version of Cesium for Unreal version 2.0, you no longer need to do that and I'm going to show you how to set it up very quickly and very easily. Usually, you can find the plugin in your marketplace in your Unreal Engine tab. At the time of making this video, the version on the marketplace is not the latest version. However, I assume this is going to be fixed in a couple of days. You can install from Engine if you have the latest version. However, I'm going to get it from the GitHub account. Here, I'm going to be using Cesium for Unreal Engine 5.3. So I'm going to download this and then extract the contents. Once it's extracted, I can copy the plugin folder straight into my program files, Epic Games, version of Unreal Engine, Engine Plugins and Paste. Next, I'll go to Unreal, Unreal Engine 5.3.1 and launch. From here, I'm just going to go into Blank Games, give this a name and click Create. Once this is done, I need to go into Edit, Plugins and search for Cesium. Once that's done, I can enable this and restart my Unreal End editor. This might take a while to compile shaders if it's your first time using Unreal Engine. Once the plugin is successfully installed, you can click the Connect to Cesium icon. Here, you will need an account with Cesium or your Epic account. You can allow, and you should be good to go. You will know you have the new version of the plugin because you will have an option to add the Google Photo Realistic 3D tiles here. This version was not here before. First, I'm going to make a new level. I'm going to ensure that it's empty. I'm going to save this level. And then I'm going to go ahead and add these features. First of all, the Google Photo Realistic 3D tiles. I can use a default or create a new token. And once that's set up, I can add my cesium sun sky. And this is literally all I have to do this time round. When I go in here, I no longer need to add it from the URL. Instead, I go to my Cesium Geo Reference and I can type my longitude and latitude here. I also have a new degrees measurement here. I can scale up my camera speed and I can zoom around using WASD to look around my new terrain. As in the previous video, if I want to find some coordinates, I can go to Google and I can type these in. Right click and I copy these in. And then I can paste them in here. And there we are, London, quick, easy and no need for a Google API or any credit card details. Check out my other video for how to do cinematics. Use the Cesium Cartographic Polygon tool. Add your own geometry, your own 3D scans and play around with lighting effects and daylight cycles. Thank you for watching and subscribe.